Hey guys, so this time I decided to show how I made a cube inside of a cube. I don't really know what to call this. Maybe a magic box inside of a box. And uh, I actually got the idea from the uh, local woodworking group that I belong to here in Indiana. As a member had posted a video or reposted a video of, of how to do it. And um, you know, I really thought, gosh, this is gonna take several hours to make. You know, and, and it was, it was about two hours to do two of these, but it was a piece of cake. You use your drill press for 90% of this, and then the rest of the work is really just sanding and finishing it. So, uh, it's not really a, I don't know, I wouldn't really call it a game. Maybe a, like a talking piece or a conversation piece or something, but um, both my kids have seen it and they both want one. So I knew I had to make two of them because uh, I had a feeling if one wanted one, then the other one would too. So uh, here's a video on how I did to make it, and uh, if you have more questions or you want to check out some of the photos or more details about how I did it, check out my site at woodlogger.com. So to start off with, I've, uh, I've got my block here. It's a 3 inch by 3 inch block, and um, if you need to uh, get a block of wood like that, mine was actually, it started off as a 4 by 4 and uh, which means the uh, the actual size is about three and a half by three and a half. Well, I, I cut that down on my table saw and got it to a three by three block. So what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm finding my center mark. And I do that, and you, you want to take your time on this because you want to be as precise as you can. Got my one line. Did my other line here. There, I think I've got. Eh, you know what? I think I. Maybe I'll fix that line just a little bit. No, nope, you know what? Actually, I'm I'm pretty good with that. So, you know, I found my center mark, and next up I'm going to head over to uh, the drill press. So I'm over at the drill press now, and I'm, I've got a, a 2 inch Forstner bit in here. Uh, I think that'll work really well with my 3 inch block. And uh, what I've got is I've got stop blocks set up on both, both the back and the side. And I've got my drill set to uh, line up pretty, pretty dead accurate here in the middle. Um, one thing I didn't, I don't have on the film is I've, I've actually lowered my drill speed to about the slowest speed I can get it. And for this, uh, for this initial pass, I'm only going to go in about, oh, maybe about a quarter of an inch. I just barely want to go in so that I can find, um, my depth. And I'll, I'll show you that in just a second. That's really all I need. I just need to be able to find my lines, and I'll show you how that how that turns out here in a second. Okay, so I've made my initial cut, or my drill, I guess, and um, what I want to do now is I want to find the depth of how, how deep I'm going to cut these holes. And uh, to do that, all you got to do is line up with the two lines here and there, and you'll... Uh, Take your ruler and get it as straight on as you can. And once you've got that, simply do a mark like that. And that's going to tell us the depth of how deep we're going to go. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mark an X um, on each side so that as I go through and I actually make each of my cuts, I'll know where to line it up with the uh, the stop blocks. So I've got that so on this one. I'll simply do this side. I'll flip it over and I'll do this side. Okay, I got all my blocks marked. Now I just need to go set my depth. So I'm back over at the uh, drill press now, and what I want to do is I want to set the depth of the uh, the drill press 
to the same length as my line that I struck. I don't know how well this is going to show up on the video, but if you can see my line goes right about there, and I can assure that my depth, you know, it's it's right on it. And you wanna you wanna set your depth about a I don't know maybe about an eighth of an inch shy of that. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lock that into my drill press right now, and uh, see how it turns out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling and. We'll see how this goes. Let's see how I've got one hole already made. And we're going to just keep right on moving right along. Okay, well, I think you can see now I've, you know, I've got my, my cube. You can almost see the cube inside the cube. It's just kind of held up a little bit by uh, some of the corners here. And uh, to work on that, I think I'm just going to use uh, a chisel. Just kind of lightly, lightly work my way around. And I don't know if you actually heard that, but it actually kind of made a, a slight popping sound, kind of like it was just releasing. You can actually kind of feel it give. Feel it give there. Let's see if I can get this one to give there. Oh, pretty good so far. That one. And let's bring it that one. my time I don't want to I don't really want to damage the wood yeah, I've got I got every side but one there there you see I've got it and I've got my little cube that's just kind of floating around in there definitely needs to have some work done on it you can see the I'm seeing in there that I need to do a little bit of trimming. So I have to I have to work on that some. I've also kind of got a knife that I, I kind of wanted to use to to whittle. I'm, I'm really not a whittler by trade, and I. I Really admire the heck out of the guys who like to whittle. Um, but boy, I just don't, I just don't have that skill at all. I think there's more art, artistic stuff to it than than what they like to admit that there is. But I think there's a lot, a lot of artistic stuff going on with that. I've got my basic box finished. I just need to work on sanding it and getting it finished. Okay, well, I've been making some progress on my box. Got it cleaned up a little bit. I don't know how, well, how that kind of shows up on the video, but uh, yeah, certainly got all the rough edges off. Still trying to do some more sanding. Just want to kind of break off the sides. 
you know, there really just isn't any good way to do this. You just kind of have to work your way into it and spend some time doing it. At least I haven't figured out a good way to do it. Um, but that's, you know, that's the basic box right there. I'm gonna probably finish it here in just a little bit. I'm gonna, I don't know. I don't know what I'll seal it with, but uh, we'll see how it looks here in just a little bit. All right, well, here is the uh, finished cube. Uh, I did a, just a light sanding all over the cube and then applied a, uh, a real light coat of stain just to give it some color. And, you know, this really was a great little project. And, uh, you know, if you want to see more information on how I did this or other woodworking videos that I've uh, done, uh, check out my site at uh, woodlogger.com.